This tutorial will show you some basic viewing controls in Insight 10.1. The program Insight allows you to view a geometry or a mesh generated by OpenFoam. It can also be used to post-process the results. Unless OpenFoam, Insight is a commercial software. The software can be downloaded from the Insight website. You can download a free version of Insight. However it does have model size limitations. You can also use a 30-day free trial or buy a license key. We first will open a mesh file. In this folder you find two files generated by OpenFoam. Please always open the .case file. A list of all the patches are given in the top left hand corner underneath case 1. I will now turn off all the wall patches. To turn on and off paths, use the visibility icon. Clicking the left mouse button and dragging allows to rotate the viewing angle with respect to the axis shown on the screen. Clicking the right mouse button and dragging or scrolling allows to zoom into and out of the geometry. Clicking the middle button and dragging allows to translate the geometry. Holding down the control key whilst left clicking and dragging rotates the geometry in an axis perpendicular to the screen. I will now create a surface mesh of the motorbike. First I will select all the motorbike patches. The surface mesh of the motorbike can be viewed by clicking on the display shaded surface icon. The opacity of the surface mesh can be toggled by clicking on the overlay hidden lines icon. I will recolor the motorbike rider. You can see that the color of the motorbike rider has been changed from green to orange. We will now create a clip plane. First select the internal mesh. Use the scissor button to create a clip plane. We want to set the mesh slice in the Y direction. As you can see, a clip plane has been created. This is the end of the tutorial on basic viewings controls in Insight. More Insight tutorials can be found on the CEI website. The next tutorial will show you how to register for the Bluebear cluster.